Okay, Cancer. We're going to do your messages from the other person for January 2020. It is general, so keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, yeah, so we're going to get started. I don't want to take up too much time. So we're going to do the start off with this deck, Power of Surrender deck. So what does this person that Cancer is connecting with? What does this other person have to work on surrendering? What do they... Oh, okay. This person has to surrender to their soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So this person needs to surrender to their path. I feel like maybe they haven't been on their right path or they're just starting to get onto their right path i feel like this person i'm hearing easily swayed for some reason easily swayed this person straight off of their path for some reason Cancer, lots of green. The color green could be significant here. Or green for heart chakra. But you have surrendered to silence, Cancer. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So, Cancer, I feel like you guys are very quiet. You're very contemplative. You're very silent right now. I feel like you're not speaking to this person. You're silent for a reason. You could also be silent because you are focused on healing and replenishing yourself. Water could be significant because there's water in this card and then water, the stream here. Surrender to trust is at the bottom of the deck. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. I feel like that's a message for both of you. But I do feel like this person is getting back on to their right path. They might have strayed from it for some reason. Maybe they had to put others first for some reason. Maybe they had to stop what they were doing to help a family member or, or someone close to them. Let's see, this person, oh, this is this is one of Mystic Moons. We're going to use Mystic Moons, two of her Oracle decks, and then we'll use Larina OG's, one of her tarot decks, her eternal messages. Ooh, 333, I just saw 333. But, yeah, so this person, they feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. So that's something they want to say to you. What else? What else? I look at your picture often. So this person has pictures of you, or you guys, you know, have pictures together. But they look at your pictures often. Or they go on social media. If you guys are friends on social media, they look at your pictures. At the bottom of the deck, I will make things right between us one day. So this is in, in their headspace. They, they do want to make things right with you one day. I feel like they are hoping, they are wishing for that. And I feel like maybe you were, you are a part of this person's path. And maybe they strayed away from you for some reason, but... If they're getting back onto their path, then it could mean they could be heading your, your way. Would you reject me? Oh my gosh, I just said that! And then, would you reject me? Came out. Wow. So I feel like this person does have plans to come in at some point. 
I'm more affected than you know at the bottom of the deck. Wow, this person is really, really hurt, really affected by whatever went down between you two. They're afraid that you're going to reject them. And I said social media earlier. I keep a close eye on your social media. I've been sending you messages in 5D. So they've been trying to send you messages in, in the spiritual world, maybe through dreams or um, their higher self is trying to connect with your higher self, I'm hearing. Uh... I'm being subliminal with how I feel about you. Yes, yeah, so this person is not being upfront about their feelings. But they're also not being upfront about their feelings because they're afraid of being rejected by you. At the bottom of the deck, you really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Let's get a love card. Oh, yeah, you guys are separated. Either by distance, emotionally. There's separation here, so you guys are not together. Take this separation card, how it resonates with you. You know? <coughs> Could mean a lot. Divorce, a breakup, a break physical distance, you could be towns apart, emotionally distant, just take it how it resonates. Oh, this person, healing family issues at the bottom of the deck. And I was saying that earlier too, I feel like this person might have strayed off of their path due to some family issue or maybe an issue with like a close friend, but some sort of family issue took this person off of their path, could have taken them away from you. Maybe they had to travel somewhere far, but a family situation, whatever this family situation is, you may know of this or not. Or if you don't know of this, I feel like this person will bring this to your attention. I feel like some of you know and some of you don't. And then underneath that... There is reconciliation underneath that while wow, getting to know each other, past life relationship, and then there's control issues. So someone here could have some control issues as well that they need to work on, whether that's you or them or the both of you. But this is, you guys have been together in a past life or you've been together in, in the past. But I feel like this person does want to come back in after this family issue is squared away and done with they want to come back and reconcile and get to know you all over again because there might have been some time you know since you guys have spoken or seen each other or really you know been able to catch up And this person's higher self is really reaching out to you. Sensitivity. Some of you guys could be gifted. You could be empathic. This person could just, you know, be very sensitive. Just, just a very sensitive soul. Where you are. With justice. Makes me think of Libra. You don't have to be dealing with the Libra. But justice here. So I feel like you guys will be experiencing justice in this situation in this relationship here artist and then you have study at the bottom of the deck so someone could be studying you you could be studying them i feel like you guys are studying this situation oh my god i just smacked the deck and these cards fell out but look at look at where this message is I don't want to hide this connection anymore. Ooh, I'm planning to surprise you. And you know what? I saw this card when I was shuffling. And now I'm seeing it again. So I'm going to show you guys. I've been doing spell work on you. So this person might be trying to manifest you. They might be trying. I feel like it's not evil. 
it's not harmful it's not malicious i feel like they're doing spell work to try to attract you back in like they're trying they're doing spell work i feel like to end this this separation to have to have a reconciliation But they are planning to surprise you. They don't want to hide this connection anymore. That might resonate for some out there. This person really does believe that you are the best thing that's happened to them. Some of you could be in school with this study card as well. Some of you could be in school. Or you're researching something. Some of you are artists or you are connecting with an artist. This person... might cope with their sensitivities or their emotions through art or they might tr they might um surprise you with like um with like a piece of art maybe that that they made themselves or they saw it and they were reminded of you so so they bought you this piece of art, that's for some. Yeah, but this person is wanting to balance out these scales with you. They are. Yeah, mending bridges. They're looking deeper into this situation. Looking deeper, hearing messages from spirit, so... Like I said, this person could be gifted. They could be very sensitive. They might look very deep into things. This could also be you as well, but... I feel like they are getting messages from spirit about this connection and about the path that they need to get back on. And exceeding expectations. I feel like this person will exceed their own expectations. This could also be you exceeding your own expectations. Or maybe um, this might work out better than you guys expected it to. But you guys could be hearing messages from, from, from your spirit guides, from your angels. So do be on the lookout from messages from your higher self or from your spirit guides um, and this can also be indicative of perhaps a message coming to you we have flowers on this card so maybe they want to give you a message and, a, and, and flowers perhaps proceeding softly this this is at the bottom of the deck this person wants to not rush things with you. They really want to take their time, I'm hearing. They really want to take their time with you again. And I feel like I feel like they're they're willing to take the time and proceed softly when it comes to fixing and mending this relationship with you. They're not gonna rush you through any sort of healing process. Like I'm hearing that they're gonna be very patient with you. within the next few months. So from now with within the next few months and let go, there's something that needs to be let go of here. This is at the bottom of the deck. Let go. Look at this. Ask for help from others, no need to worry. So try not to worry too much. This person is asking for advice from friends, from family members, a counselor cuz underneath study Underneath study, there's counseling, so they could be getting counseling done. Or they're asking like a therapist or, or like a life coach or somebody for help. You could even be going to counseling for some. But there's something that needs to be let go of here. Something negative. I feel like you guys know what, 
what needs to be let go of here, or this person needs to let go of some sort of toxic family situation that they have going on. But spirit doesn't want you guys to worry. Spirit does not want you in that in that space of of worrying because worrying will only produce um, you know, more blockages, more fear. It's easier said than done, but spirit's telling you not not to worry. But yeah, within the next few months, maybe for some within the next few weeks, um, I do feel like there will be big happy changes. So oh so, for some, over the next few weeks, for some, it might take the next few months. Because I feel like whoever you're connecting with, the family dynamic is going to be different for everyone watching. Um, so, it might take this person a few weeks to sort this out. It might take them a few months to sort this out. Or they might have already sorted this out, but they might still need some time before... They come back in um, but I feel like this person is going to be looking deeper into this family situation over the next few months and looking deeper into this connection as well and they are going to come back and make things right between you one day oh look at that underneath that I'm really bad at commitment so this could be someone who's really bad at commitment but you still hold a piece of this person's heart and you've you've affected their life significantly I feel like, I feel like in a good way, but yeah, this person does want to come back in. Give it a few months, give it some time. You might have already given it enough time, is what I'm hearing. But there's still, there's still more time. This energy still needs to wrap itself up, is what I'm hearing. So. I'm going to end this here before the video gets cut off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped.